focusing on our forces tonight. An American, American rather warrior owes his life to one village in Afghanistan. Ned Hibbard is here live now with that story. Ned. It was the worst week of his life, Don and Melinda, and he was the luckiest guy in the squad, saved by strangers, Afghans, at great risk to their own lives. Now's your chance, Houston, to help a local veteran repay the debt. Argus Latrell is a former Navy SEAL. His idea of recuperating from back surgery involves running 13 miles. I just got out of surgery. I was like, I'll be ready to go. I was like, we're doing a half marathon. November, be ready, because I will. So he's committed to Boot Run Houston on November 25th. Now, despite the pain, he's got to follow through. As I've been thinking in my head, I was like, I'll just pretend like I'm back in Afghanistan and I'll, I'm just running for my life, you know? In June 2005, SEAL Team 10 dropped into Afghanistan to capture or kill a Qaeda warlord, were sucked into an ambush. We got overrun and the firefight ensued and it was me and Mike Murphy and Danny Deeds and Matt Axelson and we just you know fought as hard as we could but they were outnumbered 20 to 1 one by one guys started getting shot an enemy RPG took out the helicopters sent to extract them killing 16 Americans and Latrell's fellow seals died fighting eventually my um, Teammates uh, succumbed to their own wounds. They just, you know, they just bled out and, um, and died. Out of 20 troops sucked into Operation Red Wing, Latrell emerged as the lone survivor. As chronicled in his best-selling book, his back and pelvis broken, he crawled for a day and a half through the Afghan mountains. If it wasn't for bad luck, I probably wouldn't have any luck at all, but I just happened to wander into the only village that was sympathetic to the coalition forces. Not only did the villagers of Sabre treat his wounds, they also dared the Taliban to take him. As safe as I was in there, I was still, you know, every 15 minutes, I'd, I'd sit in a room and a bullet would zip through the wall. Almost five days later, Latrell was rescued by the army. Seven years later, he's still working to support the village that sheltered him. These guys were willing to sacrifice the whole village just, just to save one American that they didn't even know. And, you know, just think about how powerful that is. And that is where Boot Run Houston comes in. Proceeds benefit the village of Sabre, along with the Boot Campaign, which helps returning veterans. You want to pitch in? Check our Scene on TV page for a link.